brought a hundred people together, and one of them believes they're the hottest person here. The thought of staying makes me want to throw up, but the thought of leaving also makes me want to throw up. We need nine more people to leave. You guys voted on a poll that ranked these people from least attractive to most attractive. It's their job to figure out who was placed on top. Let's see if they can find the one. Are you guys ready? <laughs> so for the first round, we're asking the people who believe they're the 10 least attractive people in the circle to leave. <laughs> you guys have five minutes to discuss this. Have fun. I'm not gonna lie, this is kind of tough. I think people need to be realistic. I feel like people are gonna be so stubborn. Like, it's, it's Probably bad hygiene, I'm gonna say that. Bad, bad hygiene, yeah. anyone who smells bad. You can't have that, yeah, we're anyone like... <laughs> but if people find me unattractive, I don't care. I did not enter a beauty contest. <laughs> Growing up, I didn't feel that attractive. You know, I was kind of on the nerdy side, but I feel like as puberty hit and as I aged, a lot of peers and interactions from people uh, kind of gave me that confidence boost. Uh, what do you guys think? Are you attractive? Um, yes. Yes? <laughs> yeah. Are you in the top 90? Uh, top 90, yeah. For sure. Top, yes. Yeah. Top yes. 90. Yes, I'd say so. I care less about the way I look as I get older. Yeah. And I think in society, people that are older aren't considered as attractive. I think it is kind of an oddity to think of somebody that's attractive in their late 50s or early 60s and even into their 70s. Face cards, everyone! Face cards! Let me see what you look like. Do you think you're in the top 90? Sure. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. I believe so. Everyone here. I feel like I can make top 90. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. And then and then things might get sticky. Yeah, it gets a little sticky. It gets a little dicier. I have body dysmorphia and not knowing what I look like most of the time. So I don't know how other people would perceive me because I don't perceive myself at all. <laughs> like yeah. sometimes even your own family may make you feel ugly. Yeah. Especially like oh, yeah. growing up in a Hispanic family because my mother's Puerto Rican and they like to nitpick on you so much. But then I just learned how to grow out of that. Yeah, you really have to just like not listen to what other people think and just I don't know, it has to be like an inner voice inside of you that like no one can change no matter what anyone else says. My people. <laughs> Please leave the circle if you believe you are one of the 10 least attractive people here. In three, two, one. <gasps> no! <laughs> I knew I was going to be that top spot. So it was to me kind of being in control of the outcome. Uh, perceiving myself in the world has been like really the biggest struggle for me. So it was my way of being in control, like I'm just gonna take myself out now so that I won't have to go through the stages. I'm gonna hand you a card, and in the card is the number you got on the poll. Um. I wasn't expecting it because it is something that I do struggle with and knowing that there were like a lot of people um, rating, I just automatically know like it's just me in my head like oh they're going to rate me um, way different than they did. Mm -hmm. So this is like an eye opener for me, it's, it's something I do struggle with. Okay so only one person thinks they're the least attractive? We have to have 10 people leave, so we need nine more people to leave. Now it's time for the second round. You should only remain in the circle if you believe you're in the top 50. 
So take some time to discuss this, and then you will leave. Like I can think someone's like gorgeous, and someone else can think, oh, they're okay. You know what I mean? So it's like, the thought of staying makes me want to throw up, but the thought of leaving also makes me want to throw up. I feel like I can look at myself on different days and like oh, see yeah. a completely different person. And if they saw my parents, I'd probably vote myself out. What? Really? <laughs> Why? Just like I don't know. Is it because maybe you don't like put yourself out there, or? Uh, what are you thinking right now? I feel like in, you're in the top, or? Um, I think maybe middle top. I think energy can carry a lot, yeah. and also just like I'm, ex I'm ner not nervous, but I'm curious to see how the top will look. Diversity levels, because I mean, everyone has underscored biases, subconscious biases. I feel like people are starting to get anxious, antsy, you know. Totally, tension is rising. It really is. So I have like really terrible acne, uh, like in high school, and then like it was probably my senior year. It's kind of messed me all went away. Well, I think that it's just all about how you present yourself. You know, people who exude self-confidence and smile, you know, are more attractive essentially than people who just look good but then can't present themselves. No, we're definitely top 50 for sure. No, the girl with all the tattoos left and her and I would have... No, we literally... <laughs> She's so hot. No, mommy. It's a cruel I just need to be hard. So now, if you don't believe you're in the top 50 most attractive people, please leave the circle. In three, two, one. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so, 40 people do have to leave. 40 people do have to leave. Okay. And I still think more people are gonna have to leave. It's just a numbers game right now. <laughs> no! Since not enough people are leaving, I'm gonna have to pair people up and you'll decide amongst yourselves who will leave the circle. Okay, you two, you two, you two, you two. You? I, I'm not like, okay, you two. Uh, you two. You two. Talking about it, it was kind of hard uh, because you have to be not only humble, but honest, self aware. Um, and, you know, just a lot of hard decisions that a lot of people made uh, to, to exit out. It's time to decide who's gonna leave. So, would the person who decided they were less attractive please leave the circle now? Welcome back. Okay. Okay. Um, I got a four, and this is out of 10. And I honestly don't mind the score. Got a nine. I feel like it's kinda Hi, you know, I guess. Your insecurities eventually fade, but what makes you look better is something you are still aware of, I think. And I think that if anything, it may even be feedback that I probably should spend a little more time on fitness. I mean, I would have put myself like a eight, maybe. May have to consider dyeing my hair someday. <laughs> I feel that as long as I think I'm attractive, I'm gonna be confident. Now we are cutting down to the last 10 people. So please only remain in the circle if you believe you're in the top 10. So go ahead and talk about it and then you will step out soon. Do you think I'm in the top 10? I think you are. Do you think I am? Really? Yeah. I think you are. Should I? Yeah, you are. Top 10. No, no but I think you are. I think this is the time to tell people how it is if they're really attractive. I think. Right now, or like just overall, it'd probably be a mix of both. So if you yeah. have a little bit of both, Probably like be looks and a good yeah, personality. Top 10, yeah, top yeah top for list. sure. I agree with that. Hi, you guys. Can I say something? Yeah. Okay, I have been having conversations with so many people and everyone is saying, yeah. So now we're going to pare it down to the top 10. And remember that people in an online poll voted for you. So only stay in if you thought you would be in the top 10% of those people. Please leave in three. Two, 
One. Only one of you was voted the most attractive in this attractiveness poll. So we're going to go around the circle, and I want you to explain who you think it is. Um, for thinking in terms of the poll, I think it's one of the girls, probably Nandi, in my opinion. She just fits like the American beauty standard. I would think Natty is the top female, and then I think Gavin would be the top male. I definitely have to agree. Uh, Gavin is the top guy for sure, and Nandi is a top female. It would be Gavin, Haley, and Isabella. Uh, Nandi and Gavin fit the like model look, I think, of Nandi or Haley for sure. Yeah, I think that's it's kind of, it's maybe not unanimous, but like, I mean, even before it got down to these numbers, it sort of looks like light is following you. Like, you're very pretty. Like, I think it's probably going to be you. Yeah. <laughs> Gavin and Kiz, y'all are very beautiful. Nandi, I saw her earlier and I was like, oh. She's like before anything. I was like, oh, for sure, her. Gavin probably is for the male, and it's for the girl Naomi. And I know we're not basing this off of personality, but like you just have this like joy about you that I really appreciate. So that's fun, you too. Yeah. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. He does. It seems like you guys were talking between Gavin and Nandi. So if you think it's Gavin right now, raise your hand. And if you think it's Nandi, raise your hand. And who thinks it's me? No. <laughs> Sorry. It's time to leave the circle and find out if Nandi is the one. I know I was gonna cry. <laughs> I've been put on a pedestal of hatred my whole life. Being black in America, I've had a lot of interactions online with people and I kind of really don't care how people perceive me. The idea of people perceiving me is just so weird. And this number doesn't really validate or invalidate anything about me. I'm very much me and I love myself and I can get it at home anyway. My boy thinks I'm a 10. If the light turns green, you're the one. If the light turns red, you're not the one. Good luck. Light change in three, two, one. Okay, Nandi, how do you feel now that you're the one? I am honestly in shock right now. <laughs> Everyone that I met today is honestly so beautiful inside and out. I model full time, so I'm always told about things that I can improve on or things that could help me look better. So hearing that I am the one is honestly just crazy to me. And I don't know, it makes me feel kind of emotional. I don't know why, but. Thank you, thank you. Thank you guys for watching. This has been The One.